Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm gonna show you how to do the door. If you didn't see the video on how to do the wreath, uh, I get some good tip. I put that last week so you can uh, visit my YouTube channel or my blog at frenchiestamps.com. But today we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do the door. So let's get started by, this is the full size car, and this is the same thing except the front was in the red. And this one it's offered in the mail, so you see I didn't do the wood grain, because what I send in the mail, I want them to be able to do it uh, from uh, what they I sending them. So I pretend they don't have the wood grain stamp. So this was eight and a half by five and a half folded in two. Then your top layers, this here, gonna be four by five and a quarter, and that I stamp in Saracen, the wood grain. So when I stamp with a big stamp like this, I put the ink on top and then bring my uh, paper on it and then rub it. But I just wanted a light coat of the wood grain. So what I did, I put the ink, took my piece of paper, rub it just a little bit, then I took my piece of white cardstock and then I emboss it. So that's how I did this. And then I just off on it and did my four little squares so they even lighter on the wood grain. So that's how I prepped that. So now we're gonna take this here and for the class in the mail, it's already pre-cut for you because I don't, I pretend like you don't have the circle dot, the circle framelit. So we're using number five and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's the two we're going to be using. First one, it's the smallest one. We're going to use this. Let's bring the big shot. If you would see my desk right now, I think you guys would say, oh my gosh, she's working in that mess trying to do all those video today. <laughs> so we're gonna use the magneted platform, clear plate, and then our uh, smallest circle there. Excuse me, I think that's the one. Maybe I give you wrong. I sure did. I want this one and then the bigger one. So it's gonna be number four and five. This is the bigger one there. Okay, so four and five. So you're going to take the smallest one there. That would be my number four. And you want to bring it up about a quarter inch from the top. And you try to center that the best that you can. Then you're going to take another clear uh, plastic plate. You're going to pass that there. And then you're going to go halfway about your circle. Can you see the plate there? So the reason why you want just F, well, you just want to cut the F moon. You don't want to cut more than that. So let's take this. Let's roll this. You're going to hear a bang. Oh, it didn't bang this time. Sometimes it's, you know, when it hit the end of the... So now we just get partial of our circle done. See this? So then for, <clears throat> excuse me, for the frame around it, what you want to do... Let's take this circle and this circle here. So you want that to be cut. You want F moon there. It doesn't matter if it's too long because we're going to fix it. So I'm going to bring this here. Okay, we're going to need that later. Let's remove this. Oops, I don't know how much I should have lifted that up for the big shot there. Now we're going to take our paper cutter. I need more lights here. Here we go. And we're going to bring the piece that we cut, the half moon here. You're going to put that about where you see the crack here, the um, groove in. You're going to bring this right there about where it goes and cut that to about where it finished. If you don't go enough, it's okay. And the reason why I say it's okay, it's easier to come back with your scissors than trying to paste that up. So I'm gonna come here, cut, and then cut. 
and I could have went a, a little bit lower. So now that we get this done, now for the window, you're going to take a piece of vellum uh, sheet. You're going to take your scoreboard. And I got about three and a quarter, so three would be one and a half. So I'm going to go, uh, oops, I got three and a quarter long. So I'm going to go uh, one and a half would be three, so uh, one and five eight. I'm going to score that right here, one and five eight. Take a piece, uh, whatever, I'm get a crayon here. I'm going to do a mark here because that I can wipe that. I'm going to take this. My center, it's there. I'm going to count five. So one, two, three, four, five. Turn this there. Make sure you keep the center with this. And oops, my center was about here. And then I'm going to go up. And then again, five. So you know it's going to be right there. Turn it there. There. And then it was there. Going to turn that there. You have to keep your center at the same place. That was about five. So you see, I keep my center the same place and I count five. So now I got those lines. Now we have to do the same thing on the other side. So it was about like this one, two, three, four, five. Bring that to that one. And again, this was my five. I don't have to recount. I just have to move it where it was. But you have to keep your center there. Here we go. And then again, five. Oops, I missed my count there. So let's say it was here. One, two, three, four, five. Turn that there. And one more about there. So even if it's not just right, as long as you're pretty close. So then it's the same distance there. So now we get that done. We're going to take a, a sponge in the yellow and I like to use so saffron. Really we can glue it though first. Let's use uh, glue dots. And I like to have, you know, you, we get the side that we push and that's the race side. Hmm. You know what? This time I'm going to put the race side uh, down. So I'm going to put glue dot in every corner. Okay. Now I want to match this about right here. So I'm looking so I get about the same distance. So now I know my nine, it's in the center. I'm going to put that right here. So now, voila, you get your, um, your window with that funky shape. I got that in my front window. Go in the back with your yellow. And the reason why I put yellow, I think it looked like it's some light coming through the window. And you just add a little bit. It don't look like much, right? And look when I put that on the white. So you just need a little bit of yellow. Now for my panels here, what I done, it is one and a half by two. That's for the bottom. You're going to need two of them. One and a half by two. And then one by two. And I like to start mounting the one on top like this. And then I can do my bottom. I could have put my window a little bit wider there. So that's how I would mount that. Then if you want to do a frame around that, remember we did the, the circle. Well, I thought we did. Oh, it's still on my big shot here. Here we go. So we got this. Now we need a quarter inch because this is a quarter inch. So we need a strip of a quarter inch quarter inch it's right there so I need this strip here so now you're going to take that and the best thing for that it's the piece that we just cut out here this is the piece we just cut out you're going to take this here 
put it right there. You see how I do this here? You're going to take this and then we're going to use Tombow glue. You're going to put Tombow glue right here and right there. See, just two little dots. You're going to take this, put that right there, right at the bottom of your thing. Okay, so that is our frame. What we have to do, I, this it's a side that it's smooth and a side that it's not smooth, and I used the wrong side, but it's still going to work. It's just I'd rather have the side that it's smooth. Cut that right there. Cut that right there. And then we're going to come here. And I go kind of under there. And I put the, enough glue there. Maybe you want to be careful when you squeeze that. Okay, now I would um, take my door, take a tiny bit of glue, and just put a little bit of the Tombow glue. Because you don't want it to, um, what would be the good word, to come on the side there. You know that's not the word that I had in my mind, but I'm going to try to be careful here. And put that right here, so you get your perfect opening here. See? So you get your perfect mat for whatever your um, frame for your window. You can see it very good, I think. So that's how I done this. And then for my, um, I like to sponge this first. So before I mount them, I would sponge this and then, and I put it with uh, glue dots. After I'm done with this with glue dots, I just, before I mount it on my card, I poke a hole, put my little antique brad for my doorknob, and then mount this again on uh, your card, but with uh, dimensional. And the same thing for your frame with dimensional. And then in the center, I add two uh, dimensionals so your um, read its pop up even more. So that's this one, and look at the red with your. Um, window frame. I think it adds a lot when you add a frame. So this is it, how to do the the door and the window and the frame and the whole shebang. I fit it all in a video, so I'm pretty excited. Hope you enjoy my video. And for more information for my class in the mail, because I offer, um, I got five cards with this set that I offer uh, my class in the mail. You can visit, and some of them get different opening and that. And class in the mail come with a PDF file like this. It open different way. So you can visit my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. And I'm going to have all the information on my uh, blog for my class in the mail. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy stamping.